A new study reveals how many kids are using prescription stimulants and how often the medications are being misused or shared with other people. A team of researchers led by the University of Florida surveyed over 11,000 kids between the ages of 10 and 18 in 10 U.S. cities. Entertainment venues like malls, movie theaters and parks were used to find study participants. They were asked to fill out questionnaires that included pictures of many drugs commonly prescribed by doctors to help kids pay attention and do better in school. The study shows that nearly 15% of kids have used a prescription stimulant like Adderall or Ritalin at some point in their lifetimes. Even more disturbing, in the 30 days before the survey, more than 7% of preteens and teenagers were taking prescription stimulants and more than half of those children were using drugs for non-medical purposes. The youth are taking these medications and taking them from their friends and others because they think it's safe. They think, well, these are prescribed and, you know, we know all about them and they've got to be safe. So if you can use them, I can use them. Health experts say taking prescription medications for any reason other than what they are prescribed right. for is dangerous and can cause severe side effects. This happens in all parts of the United States. It happens in the suburban areas, the urban areas, and the rural areas. And that there's so many similarities rather than differences in these, um, these rates of use. Researchers say more education is needed to get children to stop sharing medications or using them for non-medical purposes to help cut down on this growing problem. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Berloge.